Hello everyone, welcome to Thought on Thursday where my topic today is making good decisions. I wonder how you go about making decisions and whether you've made any small or really big ones recently. I've been reflecting on this because I feel that for me personally, the year of uh, lockdowns and the pandemic has given me more time. Now, I know that's not true for everybody. And what it has given me is a bit more headspace. And I think we've been able to make some decisions. Now, a few of those have been along the lines of um, ecological decisions, I suppose. Um, we've been meaning to do some things for a while and uh, we've been enabled to decide and actually act on those things. And so we now have a milkman. And so we've reduced our plastic incredibly in terms of milk bottles. And we've done various other things. And it's partly because we've had the headspace to think it through and act on our decisions. So making good decisions, a part of that may be having the headspace to do it. But of course, another big part of making good decisions is seeking wisdom from somewhere maybe from other people. But also for me as a Christian, making decisions is something where I turn to the Bible. I turn to God and ask for his wisdom and his guidance. We're now in this Easter period, this post Easter Sunday week, where we have celebrated as Christians, Jesus rising from the dead. I think the best decision I ever made was to explore who Jesus is and what I believe. And I'd really encourage you to do that as well if you haven't already. Because the best decision I've ever made is to say yes to Jesus, to see him as the one who has died for me and rose again, such that I can be in a relationship with God and live forever with him. Well, I pray that you will have headspace over the coming days and weeks for anything you need to think through and decide about. And I also encourage you and pray that you will explore who Jesus is. And I can tell you, if you decide that he is who he says he is and you decide to follow him, you'll never regret it for he is alive and brings life in all its fullness. Happy decision making, stay safe. I'm Amanda Featherstone, Vicar of St Mary's Church Withal, and this has been my thought on Thursday.